We're starting with Bryn. Before the season had actually aired, I think that she was really the breakout castmate that like people were really excited about. Uh, obviously, Jenna Lyons was like the most well-known household name, but I think Bryn was the one that really caught our attention right off the bat. Her tagline was probably one of the things that probably caught the attention the most as well. Famously, for those of you that don't know, the tagline is, I love to laugh, but make me mad and I'll date your dad. Yeah, Which I hope that you found so something. Good. Yeah, I hope in your research you found why that tagline <laughs> is used. Well, so one of the things that kind of has come up in in you know her like interviews and stuff that she's been doing is her relationship to Pandora and Lisa Vanderpump from Vanderpump Rules and obviously yes. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She was besties with Pandora throughout her twenties. Uh, allegedly, uh, allegedly was almost allegedly on, allegedly <laughs> was almost on VPR. Um, and so she's kind of talked about how she's a bit taken notes from Lisa Vanderpump in the way that kind of like Lisa like portrayed herself in Real Housewives of New York, uh, Beverly Hills, when she kind of like, because Lisa very much was like a breakout cast member as well. Um, sure. I think she just kind of like got the note of being like a little bit like sexy and coquettish and kind of having that kind of general nature about yeah. her. Um, and it's definitely coming through and how we're seeing her in the first few episodes. She's very flirty. <laughs> Jenna, I think, says that she could like like flirt with a doorknob or something like yeah just, yeah really I think flirt she, with anybody I mean so. I think she was also taking notes from Stasi from Vanderpump mm. Rules so like that makes so much sense that she had a yeah. connection there yeah because actually like I do like her confessionals I enjoy them but they still feel a tad forced at times whereas mm. I feel like Stasi's was just like this like this girl it's just this level of kind yeah. of like, unhinged. unhinged. <laughs> like, like, oh, without you a doubt. You can tell she's seen the Housewives franchises yeah. and she's oh, taking yeah. notes, but like as she should, you know? Like, totally. Obviously, you don't want it to come off too forced. Like, I do think that is very, her nature. She's very playful and silly, but mm -hmm. yeah, I definitely saw some Stasi vibes in those confessionals. <laughs> and, and, and Lisa, now that you mentioned yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so, actually. Now that, now that I think about it more and more, like, I really do. Cause Lisa also, right? Like, she was always making like little kind of like sexy jokes throughout the first season, especially like that kind of became like a bit of her trademark kind of attitude. Though it does make me curious to know that if Bryn was friends with Pandora in her 20s, if they had, ever kind of cross paths with uh, Stassi as Stassi as well Just obviously if they're all kind of like in the same the same realm around the same time I have um, to imagine well didn't she also I saw like probably the same interview where she said she was friends with Pandy she said that she thinks she made out with Peter <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> gross. You know, right too many passage. people. Too many people have made out with Peter. <laughs> it seems that to go to Sir, you must also make it's out with like, Peter. <laughs> oh God, I hope not. I'm never gonna make it otherwise. Uh, but anyways, so uh, some additional things that I learned about Bryn. Actually, Carrie, do you want to guess where what state that she's from? Oh my God. <laughs> I have no idea where she's no from. No idea. So she's from Indiana, which I don't know if you would necessarily <laughs> like automatically like kind of like associate with her. Like I feel like she just like comes off very like cosmopolitan. Yeah. From Indiana, but like I don't think it's that cosmopolitan. So it's definitely a little <laughs> bit different than what I expected. And she also, so she attended Purdue University uh, and she graduated with a BA in communications, which makes a lot of sense considering that she's worked in the PR industry. She's actually been working in the PR industry since like 20, sorry. 2009 and not 20 anything which is like a good a good period of time I was actually quite surprised because I feel like a lot of these people kind of like that's when their careers kind of start started they're all kind of like in that way yeah yeah that's true <laughs> uh, I guess they're so she, all kind of similar in age right like there's yeah like Jenna's the oldest I think yeah. she's 55 but I think the rest of the women are probably in their like late 30s early 40s that's kind of what it's seeming like which is kind of surprising to me because i guess i kind of assumed that some of them were a little bit older and that there would be a little bit more variety especially just because real housewives of new york the original version uh very much had kind of like quite a age span right like you had bethany who was probably the youngest oh no actually alex was the youngest right she was like 34 and then you had bethany who was like 37 yeah so somewhat i was listening to something recently that said that alex seemed so much older but she was only 34 and like yeah i was i was quite shocked that she was 34 <laughs> her first season <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I can kind of get that. Um, she did have two young children, but at the same time, like, 
I don't know. She came off a little bit more of like a mature vibe, I guess. I don't know. Now that I'm like creeping towards my 30s, like days away from being 30, I'm like, there's no way that Alex is only yeah, 34. I ha- yeah. Once you turn 30, you're like, what What do you mean that person was only 30? I thought they were like ancient. <laughs> They're like 40. And I'm like, least. I'm just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I could never have two children and name them Francois. And what was the other one? Oh, gosh. I don't Yo, remember. Ga- Gaston. <laughs> That was amazing. Something, something like French that. children. <laughs> They're French children. Uh, anyways, uh, but Brynn has worked for some really impressive brands. Actually, I was quite, I was quite surprised. Um, not because I don't think she's like smart and capable <laughs> of doing that, but be, just because I just didn't know. Mm-hmm, uh, so fair. those include uh, Shell Oil, uh, Unilever, who make like all the like I don't know, like everything that's basically like hi- hygiene, like sanitary soap, all that stuff. Uh, and then Johnson & Johnson, which is obviously quite a famous brand out there. Uh, and then she's apparently also worked for some unicorn tech companies, uh, which oh. I believe means that uh, when a company has been evaluated for over $1 billion when it goes public, it's technically considered to be a unicorn. So, Oh, Good that's interesting. It's is pretty... it mainly in like a PR capacity at those companies, I guess? Yes. Yeah, it is mainly in a PR capacity. And the one thing that I was actually kind of surprised by, too, is that she's like an a board member of like multiple boards which is oh. kind of cool uh one, one thing that that kind of leads to is that her reported net worth is actually three million dollars which makes her oh. the most if it's true uh would make her the most wealthy of all of the housewives except I for think. jenna oh yeah oh does I jenna think, have a higher I think, one i think jenna has a higher one which we'll oh, get into shortly okay, but yeah so. i do think that that's that's up there oh good for yeah Brian. right amazing um and then the last kind of fun thing that i found out about her is that she lives in the west village which i just think it's cool <laughs> and i guess speaks to like this whole kind of like thing that we were talking about last week about like the fact that they're just in such a different neighborhood and such a different part of new york city than like the just housewives all in have Manhattan. previously been yeah the like housewives that were like i can't go below i don't know whatever street because i'll get like a nosebleed if i go that far downtown 